So, as you know, Donald Trump goes on ABC, George Stephanopoulos, who's a devoted Democrat, who doesn't like Trump, and he faces 13 liberal questions and one conservative question on ABC. Biden turns down ABC and goes on CNN, where he says um, that all the people, all the people, who died during COVID, would be alive today if not for Trump. Everybody would be alive. (laughs) Anderson Cooper, the moderator of this thing, stands there, all right, doesn't say a word. So everybody who's died of COVID, all 200,000 in the United States and millions around the world, they'd all be alive if not for Trump. I'm just going, is this a twilight zone? Okay, so in this exposition, um, Biden faced all friendly questions except for one. A Republican lady came on and asked him something about overregulating the economy and that she, a farmer, was suffering. Here's what Biden said. In the United States, in my state of Delaware, we have a $4 billion industry, chickens, chicken and chicken and poultry, and all what is all the all the manure, quite frankly, that is a consequence of chickens. And so it's polluting the Chesapeake Bay. What we found out, we've invested a lot of money. We found out you can pelletize this and take out take out the, the methane. So you're in a position where you can use that fertilizer without the damage that was being done before. So Biden's saying he needs regulations on farming and animals to stop pollution. Okay. I tweeted out right after that, Biden knows the subject matter. He didn't know the questions, but CNN had to vet the people asking the questions because if they don't, you get somebody with Tourette syndrome. You get a Nazi or somebody. They have to vet the people. They have to know what area the people are going to ask about. I believe that was passed on to the Biden campaign. And I tweeted that because nobody talks about chicken manure off the top of their head. Nobody on the earth would do that. I'm sitting there going, what? What? Where did that come from? Come on. He knew that subject was going to be raised. Immediately after I tweeted that, here come the vicious far left smear merchants attacking me for pointing out what was happening. And then I went, presto, hit them, got them. They would have ignored that all day long unless it were true. Okay. Then Biden um, goes to Philadelphia, a short drive from his home, on September 20th, all right, (laughs) and says this, go. And perhaps, most cruelly of all, if Donald Trump has his way, the complications from COVID-19, which are well beyond what they should be. It's estimated that 200 million people have died probably by the time I finish this talk. 200 million people have died, Joe? (laughs) 200 million? It's only 330 million in the country. He meant to say 200,000 people. Now, he does this all the time because he cannot keep that kind of math in his head. But the more frightening thing, and I might have made that mistake. I make mistakes. I'm, I'm not reading a teleprompter here. I'm just talking to you. All right. I, so I make some mistakes, but I correct them. Because when I hear it, it in my head going, wait a minute, 200 million people dead from COVID? No, I just misspoke. He doesn't hear it. Now, I'm not a doctor. But if you don't hear it in your mind and you say stuff that is absurd, there's a problem. And the second thing is, the Democrats think they can get away with this Trump lied about COVID and everybody died business. Are you looking to see what's going on over in Europe right now? I'm going to get to it in a moment. But that's proof positive 
that this whole COVID thing against Trump is bull. It's chicken manure. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.